Ligue des Hommes. What's up, everybody? It's your boy Josh Showtime. This is Showtime Fight Form, where we talk all things fight. So let's get right into the nitty gritty. All right, so today's fight is a fight that I genuinely am be honest with you guys. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna keep it a stack. I don't care about it. I don't. I'm gonna watch it, absolutely. Why? Because this is my job. This is what I want to do. This is my passion. So I will watch it because you guys are interested in it. Um, how many of you guys? We're gonna find out when the pay-per-view buys come in. Do I care enough to buy it? No. I will probably go to a bar and see this fight. But if you want to support, I feel free, man. I'm, I'm gonna just say this as well. I am not against uh, th this whole influencer fighting game thing. Honestly, I love it, to be, to be frank. I just don't care about this specific fight because I think it's going backwards. Uh, but when it comes to this like celebrity guy that wanna throw hands, I told you, I'm, I endorse that. I think rappers need to do it. If you want beef, bro, get in the ring, throw some hands, man. I don't wanna hear you talking about shooting and death and all that other rap and stuff. I wanna hear you, like, I wanna actually see you throw hands with somebody. Blue face at least got the balls to step in, the, um, in there and fight with people, so I respect that. Um, but we're talking about Tommy Fury versus Jake Paul. Uh, these are two guys who, one is a reality star and also the little brother of one of the greatest heavyweights of all time, definitely the greatest heavyweight of this generation. Then we have Jake Paul, the Disney star, uh, the brother of Logan Paul, a guy who honestly has knockout power. So this is, it's an intriguing fight for people who really don't know much about boxing, but the people who are really interested in boxing, I feel like it's just like, okay, well, what's the big deal about this? People, like, like I, it's funny, I just heard a promo, I saw Jake Paul on face first take, and it's hilarious because he, you can tell he's selling a fight, but he's a bad salesman in my opinion. The things he say, he doesn't even believe. Like, he was like, yeah, they wanted me to fight a real pro boxer, so now I'm finally fighting him. Ah, no, you're not. No, you're not. Anderson Silva is more accomplished than Tommy Fury is as a boxer. That is just a fact. That's not, a, that's not an opinion, that is a fact. You stack up uh, uh, Tommy. I said you, you stack up Tommy's best win, which might be versus Anthony Taylor, an MMA fighter who was three and four, who's a terrible boxer. Julio Cesar Chavez. Look, look, come, come, do we do we really got to do this? Come, on, it's not even close. Not even close. Okay, so. The fact that everyone is calling him a real boxer is hilarious to me just because he's the little brother of of, of Ty Tyson. He's not Tyson. He's nowhere near Tyson. He's the pretty boy that had money, that grew up, and is a good-looking guy who's a model. and all. He, That's him. He's not Tyson Fury, 300 pounds on crap. That's that's not him. It's two totally different guys. So so it's really, this is a fight for namesake. And, and, and just Paul Smart, man. Here, I, he, here's one thing. He talks like a dummy, he sounds like a dummy sometimes, but he's not dumb. I will give him that, he is not dumb. And, and what I'm saying is he knows what he's doing. He knows going from Anderson Silva to Jake Paul, I mean not Jake Paul, to Tommy Fury is, no, is not an upgrade. It's an easier fight for him actually. One, Tommy's smaller. It's funny that he tried to paint and say, he's bigger than me, we, 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 we weigh around the same, he has longer arms. Only thing he said truthful in that was the fact that Tommy has longer arms, which I actually found out is 80. He has an 80 inch reach advantage, which is for a guy his size, that's actually really, really, really tall, like long. So that's interesting to know. But they don't weigh around the same. As I recall, Tommy Fury weighs around the 150, the 170 ish. Jake Paul is closer to 200. They're not the same size. They said the same height. No, Jake Paul's a little taller. These guys are not the same size, these are not the same weight classes. But at the end of the day, like I said, marketing genius, cool, whatever, call it what you want. But th this fight, I think, is going to be uh, initially competitive. I don't think that there's going to be a knockout, personally. I think that Tommy has enough boxing experience and he has much knowledge and a, a really good training camp, enough to know how to survive against a person like Jake. And I don't think Jake is skilled enough to be able to get a, uh, get a guy out of there who actually has been around a boxing ring for some years. Um, I don't think Tommy's gonna come in there stupid 
and just get knocked out. He has an image and reputation to approach. I think this fight's gonna be honestly boring. I don't think that this is, I think it's gonna drag out. I think the first couple rounds are really gonna fill each other out because they're both gonna be nervous. I don't, Jake Paul can act as confident as he is, but he knows a lot is on the line right now. The more fights he wins, the more pressure that builds up. And <clears throat> the more times that he knocked these guys out, dropping these people, it's more, more added pressure. So we'll see how he looks. And this fight is not gonna be in America. It's his first fight out of country, I believe. Um, so, and, and then Tommy, we'll see how he does. I mean, at the end of the day, like I said, he's a, a, a kid of a pro boxer, his brother's a pro boxer. Now he actually has to put this all together. I believe his record of all his combined people, like everybody he's ever fought, the combined record is like five and 102. That's how bad his opponents have been. Those guys are not Jake Paul. Jake Paul is way better than all those guys. And this is a guy who's saying Jake Paul's not that good, but he has power. And he's way better than anybody take um, Tommy's ever fought. Um, just looking off the eye test, Jake Paul should win this pretty easily. And I'm not, and I, once again, I don't think he's gonna knock him out. I don't even think he's gonna drop him. I think he's just gonna outbox him for six or seven or eight rounds, whatever, how long this fight is. And then we're gonna keep him pushing and he's gonna call it Nate Diaz. And it's gonna be another fighter that is once again, smaller, definitely older and washed, but you know, people eat it up because it's Nate Diaz, so I get it. So, but like I said, I'm gonna go Jake Paul, unanimous decision. Now, if I wanna sit here and say, how can Tommy win? Tommy can win by using his range. He's, he's, he is around the same height, he's a little shorter, but I believe he has like five inches on reach. Stick and move. If, if Tice, I mean, if Tommy is going to stick and move and adopt a little bit of how his brother fights, he can very well win this fight. And I don't see him getting a knockout. He's not a big knockout guy. He has what? Eight, he's like, he's eight no, what I believe four finishes. I mean, that's honestly, that's pretty bad. Like, like for as far as a person I want to be known as a power puncher, he's not knocking Jake Paul out. The only way he's knocking Jake Paul out is if Jake Paul gets tired. Jake, Jake Paul has been chin checked multiple times now. He has a decent chin. He ain't got no glass jaw. So yeah, Tommy, we ain't really see you get hit hard. We ain't really see you get like clobbered like Jake Paul can't clobber. If Jake Paul can drop Anderson Silva, he can drop Tommy Fury. So it's very possible. I'm just gonna say he's not going to, and it's gonna be a boring eight round fight. And then honestly, the pay per view is gonna kind of plug. But we'll see. I don't even. I don't even know. Like, are you guys actually interested in this fight? Are you actually gonna pay for this fight? Are you going to a bar? Because I, I think this hype behind this Jake Paul is dark. Is the dwindling, and he even knows that. I mean, but realistically, he knows that he needs star power. He's not a, a money machine by himself. He's not a Conor McGregor. Because if he was Conor McGregor, he wouldn't have to call out the Conor McGregor's and the Nate Diaz. He has to because that's the only way he's going to sell. That's just a fact. So, I mean, really, realistically, you can look at it. And I remember this question being out. I was like, is Jake Paul the greatest promoter ever? How the hell could anybody say he's the greatest fight promoter ever? How could he even be top three, four, five? How? At the end of the day, Floyd is by far the best promoter of all time when it comes to fight. You can argue with your mother. You ain't arguing with me, okay? At the end of the day, billion dollars. All right, a billion dollars he made in fight purses, okay? This is a guy who everybody hated. People said was the most boring fighter ever, but he has, I believe, three of the four top selling pay-per-view buys ever. Yeah, boring. Must be a great promoter then. Uh, and then Connor, come on, man. Brock Lesnar, like these guys are better than Jake Paul. You guys, I think we have to realize, Jake Paul got, he was already famous. He was already rich. He already had a following. He didn't start from the mud. To, to in the fight game. He might have started the mud in his acting career, his YouTube career. Yes, he started in the mud from there and grew his fan, fan base. He didn't grow his fight, fan, fight base from that. Niggas already knew who he was. It's completely different. Floyd, nobody knew who Floyd was. He had started from the mud. Brock Lesnar, no, well, no, nah, I lied. Bro, okay, Brock Lesnar's different. He obviously got famous in WWE then went to fight. Conor McGregor, nobody knew him until the UFC. Then he blew himself up. Like that's that's way different than what Jake Paul's doing. Respect to what he's doing, but it's nowhere near compared, but comparable. Um, but you know, I decided to address that because people really irk me with that. Like, don't try to give credit more too much credit for Jake Paul. What he's doing is dope, but relax, man. Um, I'm, I'm I'm tired of that. Uh, but I would love to hear what you guys think. Are you guys interested in this fight? Also, what's your predictions, man? You know, after this, I cannot wait because then we talk about John Jones and and Cyril Garn. And that fight is going to be fireworks. I cannot wait to talk about that, but that's going to be next week. Um, and it's a, it's a weird Sunday fight. So, But then again, like I said, it, it has problems selling, so I get it. 
Um, but follow me on social media it's at Papa Showtime, Josh Showtime. You want to hear me on the radio? I'm on from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. on Sunday at Real 98.3, and we play hip hop and R&B. If you don't live in my area, you can still hear it on the iHeartRadio app. As always, man, stay blessed.